The sun was setting over the Cretaceous landscape, casting long shadows over the trees and rocks. A large, bipedal dinosaur was walking through the forest, sniffing the air for any signs of prey. It was a Tyrannosaurus, one of the most fearsome predators of its time. It had a massive head, powerful jaws, and sharp teeth that could crush bones with ease. Its body was covered with scales, and its tail was long and muscular, helping it balance and move quickly. Its arms were short and stubby, but strong enough to hold its prey or lift itself up. The Tyrannosaurus heard a splash from a nearby river and turned its head towards the source of the noise. It saw another large dinosaur emerging from the water, shaking off the droplets from its body. It was a Spinosaurus, a rival predator that lived in the same region. It had a long, narrow snout filled with conical teeth that were perfect for catching fish. Its body was also scaly, but it had a distinctive feature, a sail-like structure on its back, supported by long spines. Its arms were longer and more clawed than the Tyrannosaurus's, and its tail was flat and paddle-like. The two dinosaurs locked eyes and recognized each other as enemies. They had clashed before, competing for food and territory. They roared at each other, warning and challenging each other. The Tyrannosaurus was the first to charge, hoping to end the fight quickly with a powerful bite. The Spinosaurus dodged the attack and slashed at the Tyrannosaurus' side with its claws, drawing blood. The Tyrannosaurus growled in pain and anger, and bit down on the Spinosaurus's neck, trying to snap it. The Spinosaurus writhed and struggled and managed to free itself from the Tyrannosaurus's grip. It kicked the Tyrannosaurus in the chest, knocking it back. The Spinosaurus took advantage of the distance and ran towards the river, hoping to escape or lure the Tyrannosaurus into the water, where it had an edge. The Tyrannosaurus was not willing to let its prey go, and followed the Spinosaurus, determined to finish it off. The Spinosaurus reached the riverbank and jumped into the water, splashing and creating waves. The Tyrannosaurus hesitated for a moment, wary of the unfamiliar element. It decided to take the risk and entered the water, hoping to catch the Spinosaurus off guard. The Spinosaurus was waiting for the Tyrannosaurus, and as soon as it saw it, it lunged at it, biting its leg. The Tyrannosaurus roared in agony and tried to shake the Spinosaurus off, but the Spinosaurus held on, dragging the Tyrannosaurus deeper into the water. The Tyrannosaurus felt the water rising over its head and panicked. It could not breathe underwater, and it was losing blood and strength. It realized it had made a fatal mistake, and that it was doomed. The Spinosaurus tightened its grip and twisted its head, breaking the Tyrannosaurus's leg. The Tyrannosaurus let out a final, weak roar, and then went limp. The Spinosaurus released its hold and watched as the Tyrannosaurus's body sank to the bottom of the river. It had won the battle and claimed the river as its domain.